In this video I'm going to show you how you can make a simple lost pet poster using your Windows 10 PC. For this demonstration I'm going to be using WordPad. WordPad is usually installed on every Windows PC so it doesn't really matter what PC you have. As long as you can find WordPad you should be, be able to make a lost pet poster. So to begin we're going to click on the left in the left hand corner the little Windows icon. Then we're going to from the menu we're going to scroll down and select W for Windows, then we're going to find Windows Accessories, select that. And then right at the bottom, last but one, is WordPad. So select WordPad. So this is a basic kind of word and text editor thing. So we can now add some text and a picture of a lost pet, whether it's a lost cat, a lost dog, it doesn't really matter. So to begin, I'm just going to copy and paste some text I typed out earlier to save time. Obviously you'll, you'll be typing this in from your keypad. So with, for the title, I'm going to start with Missing Tabby Cat. And then we're going to add a picture. If you haven't got a picture of your pet, your best bet is to maybe browse some stock image websites and find a cat or a cartoon image of your cat, which looks very similar, the same kind of color, a cat or dog, whatever pet you've lost, basically. Um, if you have got a picture of your pet, then all you have to do is select your picture up here. Then just choose a, um, a picture of your pet from your computer. Just bear with me as I try to find one. Choose this one. So I'm now into the picture of my cat there. So next step is to enter some basic information for this. I would make sure you enter your pet's name, its age, the date it went missing, the area it went missing from, and so on, and obviously your contact details. So we're just going to enter some basic information, so I'm going to put a tabby coloured male cat went missing on the 30th of May in the in the Hammersmith area. I'd also include a name, obviously. Then I'm going to put his, his age and whether he has any kind of distinctive markings, so again type this in, he is roughly five years old and has a distinctive mark on his right ear. I think it's important you make sure you put any kind of distinctive markings in the description as this may help people identify your lost pet. My next paragraph is going to be, I'm just going to put whether he is um, friendly or timid or aggressive. So I'm just going to put he is generally friendly though maybe timid towards strangers. Then I'm going to put the final bits, which is basically my contact details. I put, if you have seen this cat or have any information, please contact me at the following phone number or email address. It's totally up to you whether you put a phone number on there, an email address or your physical address. You know, just whatever you're comfortable with, put, put on there basically. So basically now I'm just going to put phone number and email. I'm also going to put on it a reward. Some people recommend that you don't put a reward on it as it may attract scammers but it's totally up to you whether you do or don't. So basically I just put my a pretend phone number and a pretend email address plus a reward of £100 or $100 if found etc. So we now have our basic poster so we now want to spice it up a little bit so if we go back to the title, if we highlight the text by holding down the left key on your mouse or touchpad, then you can see the top toolbar here we have the font style and the font size. So if we change that to 48, you can see that sticks out a lot more. We can also highlight it again and select paragraph, which puts it in the center. You can see left, center, right, and so on. So that makes it stick out a lot further. This is being printed on a piece of A4 paper from your printer, so you have to keep things quite, you know, small and in size. Don't go overboard. So again, if we want to improve the text below, we can highlight all of this, and we can um, increase the text size again. So I just choose 16, so it's slightly bigger. We can also highlight it again, and we can go to this this icon, which is a start a list we can select bullet you can now see is a little big dot has been added which is a bullet to all of it which makes it stick out even further so 
So basically, now we have a basic poster. We can also change the text color. Well, again, if we want to highlight the, the title, we can choose this here, the A. And we can maybe choose, I don't know, a dark red. So personally, I prefer black, but if, if you want colors. So now we have a basic poster. So we have the title, which is Missing Tabby Cat. Then we have some basic information about the age of the cat, the color of the cat whether it's friendly or timid and so on. So basically make sure you put vital information but keep it short and sweet. So now we have all that. That's basically our basic poster which can be printed on a, an A4 piece of paper. So if you want to print this off, all we have to do is click the file. We can see the print option here. Obviously make sure your printer is turned on and set up before you begin this. So if you want to preview it to see what it looks like on an A4 piece of paper, we can see that hit we can see that that there, that looks pretty good to me. The text is the kind of the right size. It gets everything to the point and there's a picture of your lost pet. So if we want the print, we just select the print option. Basically follow the details on the screen, print it off. And you know, you can either print, you can choose here number of copies, one or 100 or 1000, as many as you like basically. We can also, if you haven't got a printer, choose file again, you can also send to, in an email, you have to set up the program, but you can also email it to somebody who has a printer, which they can then print it off. So basically, that's how you make a, a basic missing pep, um, um poster using WordPad in Windows 10. Thanks for watching.